Well, hello everyone, Smithy here and welcome to my new world and my new series. Uh, this is going to be a new series that runs alongside the Jurassic World, Jurassic Park build series, uh, which we have been doing for over three years. Uh, and this has taken me a while to pull together. The, the main fact is trying to get all the mods and different programs working together which is quite difficult and we are in minecraft 1.10.2 yes we are and it's modded minecraft and we're going to give you a brief intro uh, about the series and what are we going to do and look over there behind me look what's appeared what do you think they are uh, all sorts of wonderful animals are going to be shown in the series and i'm going to be building a fantastic natural Animal park, animal, animal farm, animal park, animal world. Uh, so it's going to be a long time series, guys and girls. Uh, so we're going to be here for a long time with the series. So bear with us if we can't get your animal in straight away, because I've got over 200 animals uh, at least to show off as we go along. So without further ado, let's go and have a look. Now I have picked this world based on uh, some fantastic, uh, fantastic seeds. Uh, you might notice we are using shaders. We are finally got them working as well. You can see that I'm getting on the top right there, 80, 90 frames a second. Certain shaders don't do that. So we're in 1.10.2, so it reacts differently to my 1.8 series. And see if you can guess the mods. I'm sure many of you like Minecraft animals. Love mo creatures. Oh, look at that, a baby and mama. And uh, you can see straight... Whoa, is that mo creatures? Yeah, it's got some bugs. And you can also see... What have we got? What have we got? What have we got, guys? It's a bunny. A new type of bunny. Uh, and... Look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at this. It's a Yorkshire hog. So, we have got Animania in here as well. Oh, there's these bugs down here. So, we've got Animania and mo creatures to start off with. Oh! The first rain of the series, and of course, the only trouble is that in this series, uh, the ooh, I can hear a bug. When it rains, it doesn't half rain on the shaders. So let's go and make a day. Oh, there's another bunny, and I can hear something. It's a cricket. It's a cricket. Can, ooh, can we see it? Yeah, it's a cricket. There we go. So we have got, and we've got this beautiful village here. The reason why I wanted to start by a village is I went and found this superb location. So let's have a look around. We've got a village. That's the start of a village. And we're going to bring in some new buildings. Probably bring in a couple of new buildings this episode. Because when I plan maps out, I take a bit of time and care attention. Uh, the first thing is we want to centre everything around this village. So the main reason is Animania has got lots of new uh, animals. Oh, the bears are in it. Animals which enhance minecraft no hen look it's a ha ha what's this is this a cockerel or is this a hen it's a rhode island red rooster so what i say to you guys is i'm just uh, doing uh, i'm going to do some mod spotlights on the mods my first mod spotlight will be animania for you guys to show off all the different animals so bear with me on that that might be out in the next two days so let's have a look at this map so the reason why i chose this map is it's got some fantastic scenery uh, we've got we've got these we've got like open areas to make pass through we've got little hills with trees we've got this beautiful forest behind which we can uh, sort of make more that more dangerous animals we might put in the forest as such uh, you can see there's some lovely horses here as well in here yeah there's a draft horse stallion that is from animania oh butterfly Oh, that's got to be from Mo Creatures. And that's why, that's why this series should be pretty good, guys. Uh, that, uh, yeah, look at that. We're going to have to find some load. Oh, fishes. Fishes. A goldfish. Oh, we can capture these. So, oh, whoa. More fishes. That's a cod. Uh, so there's so much to see and do. We're only starting at five minutes and it starts going. So let me show this world. So we've got this fantastic area here. Look. Uh, and it took a bit of... I'll put the seed in the description so you can all play with this world. Uh, let me just put F3 up. Uh, location wise, yeah, location wise we're here. 1785, 91, 153. 
So you can all come here. You don't, because you spawn near a village, but not this particular village. And there's a load of villages here. You might see I've got journey map on as well. Look at these cards. I love these cards. Oh, there's a raid down there as well. High quality or what? It's a bass. It's a bass, not a cod. <gasps> We'd be able to do like a fish, a fish area as well. Uh, and then over here, because that's the village over there, guys. Over here, there's even more. More lovely, super building areas. And that's why I took a while to find a map this good. So we've got tons of building areas. And what I really like about this, we've got mountains over here. We've got the waterways everywhere. And that's going to feature quite a lot because whenever you build something, you need water. The animals need water. Oh, there's another type of cow. This is dead exciting when I first started this. So as I say, this is a Frisian cow. Some cows are good for milk. I think, I wonder if the Frisian is really good for milk. As I say, this is 1.10.2, guys, because I'm using rather than 1.11 or 1.12. Uh, this is the best for getting loads of uh, loads of animals in it. I'm going to set up the world to stay, uh, say, daytime as well, uh, because I don't want the village being destroyed until we can protect it with light. Uh, <sighs> I think, I think I've just uh, <laughs> cut that wrong. Time set today. I've done it so many hundreds of times. I need to set the time at midday, basically, on this map to stop the fog. And then the rivers come all the way over here, guys. So I think lava pits. Oh, I don't think we've got any dinosaur, uh, any dinosaurs and animals that like lava. And then we've got this beautiful section over here of the mountainous area as well. So it is an absolute cool location. I'll say the uh, seed... Uh, is in the description. Uh, the mods, right? Let's just going to run through some mods here. Here is a copy. Oh, now we've lost our way to the village. Must make sure we get back over to the village, and we've got journey maps so we can head over to those places. Uh, I think I might have gone the wrong way now. So let's just bring journey map up. Uh, and the nearest one is home, which is oh no, that's not home. Ooh. Let's come back to here. We're back in the village. We're back in the village. Oh, ooh, that's good. It loads as well. I had a pr loads of problems, guys, finding the right uh, shaders and the right pack and everything. Oh, this is another map. Yeah, there we go. This is another map. Uh, so that's not where home is. But that, there's a load of villages that we, we found out. So we may be able to do something of those in the future. But that's a long way off. A long way off. So let me just go back to the proper village where we started. Uh, and it looks like I haven't put that in a in a uh, save folder, which is a bit bit. Yes, we got it. We got, we're back, guys. We're back. Uh, that home one is the wrong one, so I'll reset that. Right, where do we start? Well, first things first, I want to do a bit of landscaping. Uh, I've got to bring in a couple of buildings from my revenge of the sea team uh if you've seen my latest uh, episode you will see we've got some f uh, a windmill and a fantastic building so they're already pre-made and working minecraft blocks so i'm going to bring i'm going to use mc edit to bring those in uh what i fancy doing as well is this seems the best place to have like this is almost like the overseeing area of the whole lot uh, and I will extend, I've got it set to 12 at the moment for the frame rates, but I will extend out as we as we show the area off. There's chicken, that chicken's not looking very good down there, is it? It's going to burn. Uh, and I fancy having, I just think where we put the windmill, we might put the, fancy putting the windmill over here. So, what, oh, it's a tiger! <laughs> well, that is, uh, yeah. Uh, tiger, you, mm, yeah, well, at least you don't eat the pigs, do you? Or are you going to go and chase that pig and eat it? Because in the real time, that pig would be dead now. But there we go. A tiger, that's some mo creatures, guys. Of course, it's going to be an exciting. Uh, we're going to start this. So I'm going to bring in a couple of builds uh, using MC Edit, copy and paste them in, and then we'll come back and start. Probably look after, look at our first animal pens. That's what we might do. Right, back, sure. 
So we're back and we've got some new buildings in our village and around just to spice things up and make it an interesting build. This was the uh, windmill that I've taken out of my uh, Revenge of the Sea Team world because it's such a beautiful windmill and it just sort of fits in with the aesthetics of what we're going to build over here. So you can see that I need to do bits and pieces with it. I'm going to change some things like I've got to put some stone and stuff which uh, well, I can show you in a minute because we're going to... Uh, and we got we had two tigers here. There's, oh, there's, a, there's even a deer here. This is what I love, the fact we're going to see loads. Whoa, what is that? That's fast. That is a deer, and it is fast, so it's it's well good. Uh, so, and we put some buildings in the village. I put this magnificent forge here, which is a different type of forge. So you go in here, guys. And it's got, like, the burning ores and mel smelting them down. Uh, this moves. I don't know. Oh! Uh. Well, that worked, didn't it? <laughs> that was funny. Uh, and there's nothing in the cases, but there's a little smeltery there, which is different from normal Minecraft. Over here, because we haven't got a library in the village, I uh, just need to. What I'm going to do is upgrade these. Uh, buildings as we go along with new wood and stuff. This is a library building because I want a library in the village and this one over here that's not a library it's just a normal house. Uh, oh yeah so library and forge. Last thing over here guys is the tower which I put on the hill because we're going to do something with this. So let, what about the mods we got in? Well let's have a look. Here's, a, the, here's on the screen the list of mods that I'm starting with on this particular series. Uh, so let's just go and get an axe because uh, you can see one of the mods here uh, which is tree chopper. Tree chopper is going to be a handy mod for us. So when we've got buildings in the way it gets rid of the trees in certain areas. Let's go into this a little bit. Oh. That's that one. Oh, that's different. That sort of. Uh, don't think that should be there anyway. So this is a fantastic tower, which I just thought would be really good on the hill. So tree chopper mod, which uh, allows me to do all sorts. It's got a good lookout in it, eh? There's nothing in the chest because it's come from another. Uh, and I can't get out. <laughs> won't let me out. Won't let me fall on the floor. Let's go back down here to the bottom. So tree top mod, you can see I've got world edit because I do loads of editing. For those who haven't watched my other series, I do loads of editing. So I use world edit because uh, we are predominantly, we're going to be showing off all the animals, but we're going to be building some appropriate uh, pens and places for them to live. So that's what the whole point of the series is. I've got my wolves here, but this is very handy when you want to do this. This is a big tree, so this will go now. Watch this. Whee! Bits and pieces left behind, but that's absolutely fine. But it means you can clear out areas quite easily. So we have got Jurassic Craft in here as well, because if people follow me, do me Jurassic Craft. Uh, we've got their latest 1.10.2 version, and when they upgrade, we'll do put, add that to it. So there's the tower. We have the libraries for Jurassic Craft. We have Animania, of course, which I explained at the beginning of the video, which we're going to show and use all the animals in. We've got journey map, which I've explained. We've got chisel mod. So why do we have chisel mod? I need to make sure the sun doesn't set as well. Uh, I need to sort that out. So I need to put a thing down, which stops the sun traveling around. So we don't have to keep doing that. So let's just go over here, guys, and show you this. So chisel mod, I need a chisel. Uh, chisel, there'll be tons of chisels. Chisel, that's the one I want. So let's get rid of some of this stuff because I don't need it. So we'll get some, a load of stone. So let's just go and get a rack of stone. Uh, put the stone in there. Click the chisel. And it will give us some fancy bricks. Loads of fancy bricks to be honest. So like chisel stone. Ooh, I wonder what that looks like. It's a bit weird. Uh, chisel stone slanted. Ooh, I've never seen that one before. So it gives us loads of fancy stone to use and build. And I thought that we wanted some differences so just an example here ah oh, see so and then oh that's nice isn't it to have around at the bottom oh uh, hello tiger uh yeah so we can do this with this and make it like a a nice platform to go on so that's the sort of thing 
that we'll be using and uh, steps wise let's go see if we got this steps and then it rains uh, oh that's the wrong one steps oh stairs stairs and um, we got tons of different stairs to say the least because we have got uh, a boriculture in here so i haven't told you about the other mods yet we've got so many stairs to use it's unreal so let's just try zebra wood something similar teak wood let's just try that i haven't done this for a while and i'm going to need to stop the rain as well so that's another thing we need to do because it's going to rain all the time i need to set that up so it never rains so if we were just to put some teak stairs in there so we've got all these fancy blocks that we're going to use in our builds <laughs> absolutely so that's the sort of thing we've got so we've got forestry mod in here we've got natura because forestry natura give us some new trees and, and loads of plants uh, I couldn't get Pam's Harvester to work with these mods, so I might go and try that again, but we couldn't get that working. So if before people say, put Pam's Harvester in, it doesn't work. It makes the thing go one frame a second. We've got Optify, JEI just enough items. Mantle works with one of the other mods. Optify, the latest version. We've got Toro Health, which you saw when we run up to an animal, that tells me what the name of the animal is and what health it is. So it's going to be really easy for me to talk over. We've got Deco Craft, guys. We have got Deco Craft. So let's just co chair. Uh, if I just go chair, just for an example, let's have a look what we got in chairs. Have we got. A fancy outside rocking chair yes we have so guys uh, <laughs> we can put fancy rocking chairs sitting here at this and look at this this is the latest one of the latest version can't place near something in the way right there we go so rocking chairs and stuff like that fantastic stuff there is in deco traff I'll be doing a full well series of spotlight reviews for that as well so linked into the series I will be doing the spotlight reviews so because I want to see all the things that are in there so deco craft a doc socks mo creatures we talked about and custom mob spawner that helps the uh, doctor's arcs mo creatures work so there we have it that's the start of a 10 so first things first I need to sort out uh, sort out the sunrise and sunset and uh, try and stop it raining forever because uh, for some reason this doesn't have it in settings I can't can't so I'll have to uh, use the commands and try and sort that out so there you go right so that's sort of explained everything let's get cracking uh, first things first I think we need to work out where everything is going to go and then we'll start Shall we start with pigs or cows? <laughs> we'll start with pigs and cows probably. We'll see how we go because this is like going to be the Animania area as such. And uh, we'll be back shortly. Well, we haven't put any animals in yet, but I thought I'd start by laying out the village. You can see here that uh, we've got the village pathways put out. What I've used is the uh, polished uh, andesite because it's one of my favorite blocks it really makes a superb uh, village block you can see that I've just put the pathway out into this side and then I've done another path which comes out to here I think what we might have down here is almost like because we've got loads of different trees and stuff to put in and fancy bit might have this as like some small very small animals and some sort of walking gardens because it's just a beautiful area of the map I thought I want to keep it beautiful and might have a path all the way around the water's edge and then we'll put bring in some of the nice trees because I aim in the series to bring in some of the some new trees like apple trees and stuff like that and use them where I haven't look at all these fish I love these fish they are fantastic oh it's great uh, and uh, then I'm going to upgrade the buildings but so next episode we will start with our first uh, animania animal and build uh, some pens and stuff and where they're going to be now i fancy that uh, it may be further back over here if we put the like the fancy stuff over there we could oh we could have some we could do like we could do sheep on one side and some cows on the other we've got the chickens maybe the fact we'll have the chickens down 
down here. Uh, I'm not sure yet. I'll have, we'll be ready in the next episode, and then we're going to do something around here. But I want to use these like water areas. Uh, and what I might do now, guys, is we're going to do some like if we do sheep, we won't do separate pens for the sheep uh, and the uh, sorry cows. So we won't do separate pens for the cows and the pigs. We'll br introduce different versions. Uh, into a bigger pen. I think it'd be nicer to have a bigger design area. And the pigs, we've got to have pigs near water because uh, they love messing around in, in the mud. So we'll see which animal we're going to bring in first episode. Maybe you want to comment. Maybe you want to like. Maybe you want to sub if you've never been here before. Maybe you want to comment to see which Animania animal you would like to be brought into the world. Uh, we, ooh, we may bring the peacocks down here as well. We could bring the peacocks, can we? Because they're cute. So which Animania uh, animal do you want me to show off in the next episode episode two thanks very much indeed for watching guys i'll try and answer all the comments speak to you soon bye bye